Ray and I are on our way to Northern Tier, the Boundary Waters Canoe Area in Atacokan, Canada. Are you excited, Kelly? A little bit, yeah. A little bit? Kelly doesn't want to do the canoeing. The whole trip is canoeing. I think that's pretty funny. He's like, I'm looking forward to everything except the canoeing. The whole trip is canoeing, Kelly. We have arrived at Atacokan Northern Tier Base. You excited? Blue. What do you think of these canoes? Better than I expected. Oh yeah? Cool. Yeah. It's pretty up here, isn't it? Yes. Yeah. Lots of beautiful trees and lakes and cliffs. All kinds of good stuff. Yeah. Kelly's a man of many words. Today is going to be a busy day. Today is the day we load up on the float plane and head out to Gulliver Lake where we start our adventure with Northern Tier. It's going to be busy, crazy morning. Currently getting outfitted for our PFDs and paddles. Now it is time to go to the commissary. That's where we get all of our food for the week. It all fits in this giant whale bag on our backs. And so we're picking that up before we grab breakfast. Then we get our canoes, get on the shuttle to the float plane. At the sea plains. This is what we ride out to Gulliver Lake. How sweet is this? First, we have to weigh everything before we get on the planes. Make sure we're not overweight. up next. Yep. That's it, huh? Man, a few words. Our first portage is right over there in that little nook right there. But we're waiting on the last plane to come in. Just made it through our first portage. It took about three or four hours. This is our campsite for the first night. On a nice bay here on Lake Adil.
right, this is camp for night two. We actually have a sandy beach on the lake. It is very windy. We have the lake on one side and a river on the other. This is just awesome. Okay, we are in campsite number three. We had a short day today because it's really nasty outside. Even the kayak or the canoe paddle over here was pretty rough. But we found ourselves a good little island to camp on for the night. And then tomorrow we have a long paddle, hopefully. There you go. Good job. You got it, buddy. Just keep going. There you go. Good. Hey, what's happening? As you can tell, we are back home from Northern Tier. Overall, it was an amazing, once in a lifetime experience that I will never forget. At the same time, it was a tough and challenging experience. And because of that, I got to see my son grow right before my eyes. He had to carry bags that weighed between 70 and 100 pounds and really awkward shaped canoes that weighed 45 pounds through the woods on portages, taking us from lake to lake. We were in a very remote part of Canada that meant there was no evacuation other than us paddling our way out. There, that was a little unnerving. On day three, we had to paddle through two foot waves and a rainstorm. I thought for sure one of the canoes was going to capsize, but we made it out to the island and that turned out to be the boys' favorite day of the trip. And you know, the trip really reminded me of why we do what we do. I was able to have this once in a lifetime experience with my son and really appreciate everything that he was able to do. I'm so proud of him 
flew in a float plane for his first time, carried these big heavy bags and awkward canoes through multiple portages, went into lakes where he had no idea where he was, where sometimes we felt lost, misdirected, and weren't sure we were going to get back to our pickup point. And not one complaint, not one issue. And when we got back, he said he had a great time. I couldn't be prouder as dad. I wish I could convey to you guys exactly what sort of trip this was and how special it was to be there for this once in a lifetime experience with my son. It makes me look at him in a totally different light now. And it's a little sad because it seems like he's growing up, he's becoming a young man and he's able to handle a lot more than I thought he could. I'll never forget what that was like. I'll never forget what an amazing experience it was. Now that we're home, Kelly and I have to get ready for our next big scouting adventure to the penultimate high adventure camp, Philmont. It's a 12 day backpacking trip in the Rocky Mountains of New Mexico. Kelly and I need to get in shape for that one. So we have a plan for the next year to get in shape for that adventure. This was an amazing adventure I'll never forget with my son. A great father-son experience. Make sure and click that red subscribe button so you can join us on our next Jones Family Adventure. And this is what it's all about, guys. This is what Keep On Dreaming means. Dreaming about these adventures, these once-in-a-lifetime experiences with your family. So keep on dreaming.